What is mine is mine. See, you and me had a deal. You reneged on the deal. I'm not like other people. So when I look at you, I'm not looking at you as if I'm other people. How are you looking at me? Don't you see what I am? You better look at me like everybody looks at me. Otherwise you're not seeing me properly. I'm a free man. I see that. I see what you got going on there, that little chin. That nose and your wooden teeth. Oh no, 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 no. Don't think I don't see that. I see that. That's a ghetto. Ghetto. I don't care the year. It could be 250 years ago. It's ghetto. Now stop it with the wooden teeth. You would insult me like that. Yo, I would insult you no matter what. I don't like the spell that you're casting on this country from up there in your portrait. It's like black magic. You know black magic, it's a mixture. Truth and falsehood, and my brother. I don't care if you're a founding father, you got a lot of that black magic going on. We the people, oh, you cast a spell. What century are you from? What difference does it make? Tell me the century. 21st, 2020, oh, you've grown disrespectful of your elders for sure, so tell me, does the Republic still stand by a thread? It stands by a thread, what happened to the English language? It hangs. 
by a thread, old man. How many people are there in the Republic? Too many count. Indulge me. Oh, I'd say about 334 million. My God. What's happened? You multiplying like bunnies. Yeah, we are. We are, we are, we're, we're, and we're about as dumb as bunnies too, I gotta say. I mean, you guys, <laughs> we don't have a democracy, we have an idiocracy. A mobocracy, yeah, yeah. Stupid ass mob. Half of them are completely asleep. Half of them have a pretty good idea what's going on. What is going on? Well, Your Majesty, that is awfully hard to explain. It depends on a lot of different variables, but, you know, things just have changed a lot since you were dead. And I, as much as I enjoy this conversation with a portrait of you, and I do have my paranormal ability so I can just zero right into the soul of the portrait and talk to the person therein, so much has changed in the, oh gosh, what is it now, almost 250 years since you were kicking it. Since I was kicking it. What was I kicking? It's just an idiom. Oh, okay. Kicking it. That's interesting. Yeah, we've got a lot of those. I sense the English language has undergone quite a deterioration. Is that true? Well, we don't write and speak like you used to do, that's for sure. Yes. Now tell me, put an eloquent tale before me, explain what's happened, what's happening. Well, I don't think you knew about communism, but since 1776, America really got quite proud of itself for being free. Like, we identify with being freedom fighters because our founding fathers were revolutionaries. Yes, we were. We revolted against the tyrants over in the England. Yes, yes, I know. Well, see, now the tyrants are called technocrats. 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 What is a technocrat? A technocrat is someone who basically dominates the world through technology. <laughs> technology. Technology. Tell me. What is this technology? Well, see, back in your time, you didn't really have awesome technology like we have awesome technology, but we have such awesome machines, you know, machines, that we can do things that you couldn't even imagine back in your day. Like what? Like fly across the Atlantic in eight hours? Eight hours. Yeah, something that would take you guys weeks. Eight hours, yes, and we could drink wine. Drink wine? Where? In the plane. Oh, my. 
Really? Yes. And while we're on that plane, we could be using our computers. A computer? What is, what is a computer? See, this is the thing. None of the stuff that we do today is just going to translate 250 years into the past. Let's just put it this way. Technocrats are people who own big-ass machines. And because they own the big machines, then they have control. That's the simplest way to put it for you. Well, who gave them control? Yes, that's the question. They took it, and then the mob did nothing to stop it. Because the mob is uneducated and unintelligent and ignorant. Yes, we knew that. Yeah, well that hasn't changed. So what is the mob doing? Well, the mob... Well, basically, the American people are starting to wake up, but half of them, at least about half of them, are forever asleep. They're asleep to what? To the tyrants. To the technocrats. Yes, to the technocrats. Well, what do the technocrats want? The same thing that every tyrant wants. To control. Yes, but even more than that. To enslave. So what happened to the Constitution? The Constitution. Well, when you influence the lawmakers as the technocrats and their overlords have influenced the lawmakers, well, the Constitution suffers and can no longer be counted upon as the 100% security against tyranny. Walk with me. How can I... How can I walk with you when you're... You're, you're in a portrait. Well, you can walk with me, can't you? I suppose so. I just... Does anybody else talk to you or is that just me? Special people talk to me. Oh. Well... Where, where, where would you like to walk? There is a labyrinth here in this portrait behind me. Come, take a walk with me through the labyrinth. Is that your labyrinth? Yes, it is. Come. Okay. How am I in this portrait? With you. Am I? Oh, God. I'm back there, and I'm in here. Yes. How old is that? No. Oh. You are having what's called an out-of-body experience. You know that term? Of course. How do you know that term in the late 18th century? That's not in the late 18th century. No way. There's no way you know that term. I'm not limited to the 18th century. I can have out-of-body experiences. But that's, that's, a, that's a term from our time, not your time. No. Oh, yes, but not only. When we walk into the labyrinth, you will find out what I mean. So, shall we begin? Yeah, okay. Why do you have a labyrinth? What, what is, what's the labyrinth about? You go to the labyrinth when you need to figure out something. It puts you into a contemplative state of mind. And then you go and weave in and out of the various alleys until you find your destination. And the process 
of finding your way through the maze gives you clarity and you find the answer to the question. All right, okay, I can do that. Well, what's the question? Yes, what is the question? I want to understand something. How does what we're doing now, here, in this portrait, in this labyrinth, affect what's happening in 2020 with the dissolution of the United States of America or the possibility of the dissolution of the United States of America? I want to know. Well, we have to walk through the labyrinth, don't we? You know what? I'm gonna let you do that. I'm gonna get back. I just, I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't wanna have an out of body experience, enter a portrait, talk to a founding father, then go into a labyrinth that I feel like at that point, I'm gonna really get lost. Like my soul is just not gonna find my way back to that body that's looking at this painting right now. As you wish. Why don't you come out? Why don't you have the out of body experience and you can enter 2020? How does that sound? I like the idea. Yeah, that reminds me. Always just say yes. Step out of the portrait. Where shall we go? Well, for starters, I just want you to stand here with me and look around and tell me what you see. Now that you're outside of the painting. People look slovenly. And they're fat. They have an ignorant look in their eyes like swine. Is this what America has become? A pathetic citizenry? Yes. There's, there's 50 states. All of these people, and they've got all the different ideologies. And they can't ever agree in their extreme divisiveness between the citizens. Oh, why? Well, that's complicated, but it has to do with the way they were educated and the way that they are brainwashed. Brainwashed. Yes, it means that, you know, how the newspapers in your time, I'm pretty sure there was newspapers in the 1800s, uh, late 1700s. Yes. Well, just imagine more of those everywhere, but then they're in computers too. Yeah, I know, it's, it's complicated, but see, the best way to describe it is that the people in power are deceiving the people who are not in power, and they're also deceiving one another, and they deceive the people who are not in power, so they can control the people who are not in power, and the way that they deceive the people who are not in power is, is well, there are so many ways. Okay, and one of them is to get all the people against each other. Ah, yes, divide and conquer. That is an ancient strategy. It is primitive, but the most effective. Yeah, it really is. And what's happened is because everybody splintered and divided, 334 million of us, then the people in power are starting to erode the entire constitutional fabric of the nation. The constitution, you, are being erased from history altogether. You're being vilified as oppressive as the patriarchy. Well, 
Is there something wrong with patriarchy? Well, <laughs> that's a big question. Today, the way people look at you guys is, is not everybody agrees on who you were. Yes, who were we? Well, there's one faction that thinks that you're oppressive, racist, sexist, and you own slaves, and you're simply just a slightly better version of the tyrannical aristocrats that you fought over in England. Then there's another faction that honors what you began with the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and the Bill of Rights, and all of that, and, and thinks of you as heroes. And so, there are people who hate you, and people who love you. And it kind of does come down to that. And the people who hate you think that you're the worst thing that ever happened, and that we've got to get rid of any kind of loyalty to the past and loyalty to your constitution and declaration and um, bill of rights and all of it just let just revise all that and get some new documents in new documents yeah that's complicated too but basically there's another form of government called communism which the state owns everything the government owns everything and there's no more private property, no bearing of arms, no freedom of speech, no freedom of assembly, no freedom of religion, none of that. My god, is that the technocrats? That is the technocrats, yes. Why do the technocrats want to do that? Because they're evil. Evil. Evil? The technocrats are evil. What is, what does it mean to be evil in your time, 2020? <laughs> it means that there are predators who deceive, and they are parasites, and they want to enslave everybody so that everybody works for them. And people don't see it. Slavery. Yeah, but for the whole planet. The whole planet. How would you enslave the whole planet? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does. You do it through technology. And then you get people to believe that it's impossible. That there is no agenda, that there is no evil. You know, I don't know if this phrase existed back in your time, but... You know, the greatest trick the devil ever played was convincing the world he didn't exist. because I don't think that word was back there 250 years. That's a recent word. Out of body, dimension. How in the world do you know of these words? You think of me as a founding father, don't you? Yeah, you're kind of looking a little bit like uh, Thomas Jefferson, although I don't know my founding fathers. It could be John Adams or... You know, Thomas Paine, George Washington, Ben Frank. Ah, no, you're not Ben Franklin. I could tell you're not Ben Franklin. But you could be any of those guys. And I'm a little bit ashamed to say that I only know the ones that are on the currency, like Thomas Jefferson and, and uh, George Washington. And you're definitely not Abe Lincoln. And he wasn't a founding father anyways. 
I understand that I look like a founding father to you, and that is true. I am one of the founding fathers. But you need to understand that the founding fathers are not what you think they are. We are a different type. Okay. You are a different type of, of what? Being. The founding fathers were a different type of beings, like what? Like different kind of human beings? We take the human form and we help out civilizations. We were helping out your civilization. But. Okay. So. I'm talking to someone in a portrait. They come out of the portrait. They're a founding father, but they're not a founding father. They don't know anything about 2020, but they do know words like dimension and out-of-body experience. I wanted to learn about 2020 from you. I can visit this realm, but I like to hear about people who live in it. Okay. I'm also noticing that your language isn't necessarily from the late 18th century either. Just generally speaking, you don't talk like them. Oh, I don't. How do you know how they talk? Well, I don't. I didn't hear it, but I can read their writing. Yes. Writing is one thing and speaking is another thing. Two different arts. Oratory. Rhetoric. See, now you're talking like it. Yes. You need guidance. I need guidance? Yes. Your whole species. It's time for another revolution. And that's why I'm speaking to you from the portrait. I'm just here talking to a portrait. But nobody here is really paying attention to me talking to a portrait. But you're in a gallery of founding fathers. We're speaking to everyone in this gallery all the time. So everybody here is getting these kind of conversations? Is this how you're starting the revolution? Ooh, what is the revolution going to be? Because it's fucked up out there. It's seriously fucked up. Like, I don't know which founding father you are, but I gotta tell you, man, it is really fucked up right now in 2020. Like, the entire country is being undermined and sabotaged. And half the people have no idea that this is happening. And the, the half that is ignorant thinks the half that knows what's up is fascist and racist and sexist and all these things. And we're not. We're just finally patriotic because we see what's happening. We may not have always liked our country, but it's because we were indoctrinated. And then we woke up. We woke up to this agenda that was pulling out the rug from under our own country. But the other half hasn't woken up to that yet. They don't actually see it. So that's what the revolution is going to be about. Yes. It is. Millions of people are going to wake up to what's happening. And you're going to be so surprised at the extent of the treachery, the deception, and the evil. Yes. You knew it. You knew. Oh, man. So you are a being, Mr. Founding Father. 
But where are you from? You're not from around here. <laughs> no, I am not. And the other founding fathers, are you guys like all from the same place? No, we are not. I'm guessing that you're not from planet Earth. We are not. I'm guessing I'm not from planet Earth. You're not. Well, where the hell am I from? <laughs> That's a great question, young man. Where the hell are you from? You can speak to me because we are from the same place. I'm a founding father, aren't I? Yes. No, I'm a founding father right now, aren't I? You are. The day I realized I am a founding father. The revolution begins today. <laughs>